At this point, the mass is up, and theoretically, the only thing that's keeping me out of the water is I don't have anywhere to go. And that is simply because not enough, like I don't have solar yet, I don't have a bathroom yet, the boat is not, I can't be self-sufficient yet, so I can't go at anchor, which means I need the boat going to water, it needs to go to a marina. And because it's still the busy season here, there's a waiting list of the marinas. The good news is, is that I should be able to move to a marina in two weeks. There's two things about the boat that make me nervous about going in the water. One, I replaced one through hull seacock combination, and another place I replaced just a seacock. And because I have so much trouble with the tape and the threads and everything, if the boat goes in a lift, they lower it in the water, and the seacocks and through hulls leak, they have to pull me back out. I pay for all that, you know, the use of the lift and everything, and and I and now I'm delayed. Um, now I'll have to pay again, and you know, so I want to be as sure as possible that those fittings are actually watertight before I go in the water. The other thing, the engine hasn't run in like 16 months, but I'm going to jury rig it so I can start it up and just make sure it starts, make sure it seems to be running fine now. These are emergency plugs that any sailor worth his or her salt keeps on the boat, so if you have a catastrophic failure, you can jam this into the hole and it's going to stop things up enough that the boat doesn't sink. I can abuse these a bit. If I tap these in from the outside, I can fill the, the whole tube up with water and let it sit. And if these prevent it from leaking, from just draining, I can actually increase my chances of not having leaks. This is essentially the opposite of how these are supposed to work. So we're going to do the head first. Got a little paper towel in there, so if it leaks a little bit, it'll be easy to see. The seacock is open. So it's been about 10 minutes, and the paper towel shows no signs of any moisture. I'm calling this one ready to go. So this looks a little bit hacky, and that's simply because that seacock isn't hooked up to what it's going to be used for yet. But I still want to make sure that the seacock is leak-free. And I got a leak. So, even though it didn't work as well as I thought, the test accomplished the goal and determined that I have a leak. So. I got some work to do. Here I go again with this damn thread tape. So after trying to clean this, there's a lot of contamination. So the water level, it's leaking out around the plug because the plug isn't well sealed. I don't see... If it's leaking, it's a lot less than it was before. That is bone dry. I think I've got a good seacock. Two out of three launch day prep tasks complete. So, it's time for another episode of Where Did I Pack That? <laughs> it's not as funny to me this time as it was. Um, because actually, in reality, I've done this about a dozen times since I made that last video. Um, I'm pretty sure my hose is in the V-Birth. So, 
It's not on the starboard side of the V-berth, and what that means is, because to get on the port side, I have to take the starboard, like the starboard side you can just get into, but the port side you have to take the lids off the starboard side before you can take the lids off the port side. So instead of just moving things to one side to get on the, I have to take everything out now. So, so after all that, it wasn't it wasn't back there. I, I really I don't know where else to look. I mean, I'm just gonna have to start digging into everything. All right, enough forcing around. Now I've got the hose. Let's get this done. So this is my little uh, hack together solution to provide cooling water to the engine just long enough to turn it over and let it warm up and make sure nothing looks too funky. And I have a hose here connected to water so if I want to let it run longer than that bucket can handle, I can just keep adding water to the bucket. Fingers crossed. I feel like I can go in the water. There's lots more projects to do, but I can go in the water. I can get out of this yard. All I need is a place to go.